The, the man who wrote this book, the book is called Crisis of Responsibility. The man is with us. His name is David Barnson. He's actually a big time market watcher and investor. Aren't you, David? Oh, yes, you are. I'll let okay. you say it. Leave it at that, okay? <laughs> right. Larry Kudlow on this program, 10 o'clock sharp this morning, said, look, we're not in a trade war. Yeah. What do you say? Well, I mean, that's the whole issue, is that the, the jitters come from the fear that we're going into one, and China's done, been pretty smart here. They start off real small. Originally, it was targeting 2 or $3 billion of imports. Market dropped huge. We kind of start to regroup a little. Then they come back with something much bigger overnight. Futures are down 700 points when I was up at 3.30 right. this morning. And, and uh, now, after Larry comes on your show and says, no, 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 we're posturing, we're doing this and that. But it was just proposals. I mean, nobody has imposed on both tariff. sides, on both sides. Neither side has imposed a tariff. Uh, they've just, proposed, see, not imposed. That's, that's, that's right. a huge difference. That's right. I don't, look, it's tough negotiations as opposed to a flat-out trade war. That's right, although I think it's giving you some foreshadowing as to how markets would react if we went into a full trade war. I think that this is um, a tricky time to be doing it in this way when you factor in the fact that the Fed is slowly normalizing, we've had the big run we've had, markets are certainly vulnerable. Okay, just a moment ago on the screen we had Facebook, which is still down significantly. Uh, the news this morning is that Mark Zuckerberg, as you know, he's going to testify before Congress a week from today. This is a very big deal. Uh, is Facebook down because they don't think he'll perform very well? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think it's down in the, first of all, he has an opportunity to actually perform quite well. Fundamentally, the issue is just valuation. You can't have this much bad news come well, into a stock. That's for investors. I mean, investors are trying to but evaluate the, Facebook. And that's, why, and that's where the stock is. But it's the there, politicians the stock could give, you know, no, they don't no, care about right. that. That's right. And you remember back in the day after a financial crisis, whenever they'd have these Goldman guys in a, in a Senate right. hearing or whatever, the stock would always kind of bounce around with it. The investors are the ones saying the stock needs a repricing. It's valued too high. This whole new tech arena that has had such monumental moves upward, they got too richly priced. They have to adjust. I'm surprised. I'm surprised to hear you say that because I think if you gave Facebook users a free choice and said, look, you got a free service and Facebook gets to use your information because you're using the service. What's wrong with that? Oh. I think 90% would say nothing wrong oh, with that. Oh, I think you're Keep exactly right. It. I don't think that's the issue at all. The issue is even before some of this more recent controversy with Cambridge and all this other stuff, the stock was trading at 80 times earnings, trailing. So even if you go forward at 50 times, so now we think it's cheap at 42 times, I mean, it's still expensive. Price for perfection sometimes works if they execute perfectly. They've shown some vulnerability in execution. It's not the kind of thing we want to buy. Let's say it goes much higher from here. Does it make me wrong? No, on a risk-adjusted basis, it's still not a good play when you have the Cisco's and Intel's and IBM's of the uh, old tech economy trading at 12 to 15 times earnings, paying 3 4% dividends. It's, a, it's just a safer play for what we do at the Bonson Group. Well, look at this. Now we've come back even more. Now the Dow is down 116 points, was down 500 two hours ago, now down 116. We're going to close up today, Stuart. You think we close up? I do. Really? Wow. Why? Because it's well, for, not a First of all, the luxury of saying it when it means nothing whatsoever. <laughs> second, of all, <laughs> so, second of all, the feeling here, yeah. when you have this kind of movement, that, that, that Cudlow um, piece was a big deal. And, uh, you know, Larry, Larry is very serious about this. They can posture and so forth, but avoiding a trade war, having that kind of grown-up supervision in the room at NEC is a big deal for markets. And to have Larry come out in calm markets. If Pete Navarro had been on your show an hour ago, we may be down 800 right now. <laughs> so, oh, I mean that very seriously. I think we, the messaging into the market matters right now, and I'm very happy that it was Larry delivering the message today. Oh, David. Larry's are... a free trader like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. Yes. David, thanks so much for joining us. Always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Thank you.